Hi everyone and welcome to our projects module. Absolutely the, the best way to get the most out of the software is to book a free uh, onboarding session with one of our team. Uh, so please feel free to do that uh, again by email or phone. There's many ways to, to contact us. You can email us, you can call us. So let's jump in. We start by creating a project. So we can just call it, um, let's call it Dan's house. And let's select due date. There we go. On certain browsers, the, the icon for the calendar doesn't come up and you've got to type in the due date. We are aware of this and we're working on it. Usually on um, Apple uh, Safari, sometimes that doesn't happen. If you have a budget, you can stick that in and you can save the project and then jump into the project. We, we're not here to reinvent uh, drawing software, so we're not going to, we don't have, you know, we're not trying to replace um, SketchUp or AutoCAD or anything like that. So we assume that you're going to be starting with a layout plan of the space and that you've discussed the layout plan with a client and you've got a good understanding of where the bed's going to go, where the sofas are going to go, how many, you know, sofas you're going to have, where the coffee table's going, the size of the rug, etc. So once you've got your plan more or less agreed, you can start populating this working grid, which is where, which is the, the, the focus of the software. You can start adding items into this grid, or you can use one of our templates. So if you're going to use one of our templates, here's some pre-prepared rooms. You may say, well, this is, this is good. We're going to use the living room. We've got two bedrooms and let's deselect these because we're not going to be working on any of these for this particular client, for this particular project. Let's select an approximate budget ranging from entry level going up to very high end uh, bespoke so you know kind of economy business class first class private jet so let's select the budget around here and add to list this is generating some items as a jumping off point that we think might sit in those rooms which we've selected it's by no means exhaustive and you can go in and, and edit this to your heart's content so so far perhaps we say well, we're going to have two sofas in this room and the budget for the sofas is going to be 10,000 perhaps we, we don't want a rug in this room so we just delete that and so on and so forth and we can add and subtract maybe we need to add some items down here so let's say for the living room we want to add there's a, a bunch of different categories that you can select from say accessories painting and let's say we've got a £1,500 budget for that and as much information as you'd like to put in here that is going to help you through the project you should put in so for example we may want to put deep seats and we might want to put very modern and say pink and so we want uh, yeah 2.5 meter one meter and as much detail as you as you can put in here, the better. This is at the, the beginning so that you know exactly what you're looking for and you're getting your client to, to, to think uh, and to narrow their thinking. A lot of designers don't want to do that. They want to kind of freestyle it a little bit. That's perfectly all right. As much or as little as you want to put in here, it's entirely up to you. Once you've started building this up and you've got it to a good state, you'll be able to track this against your initial overall project budget on an individual kind of you know level so as I change these budgets here you'll see the number up here change once you're happy with this we've got a, an export function so you can export it to Excel or another spreadsheet and play around with it add columns or play around with the numbers you can also export this to PDF and get a list which you can then send to your client uh, to confirm that this is the scope of work this is what you're going to be uh, focused on it has a de de date stamp and a time stamp on there or a date stamp on there as well so these all these details are editable from the account your account uh, tab we then move into the mood board area which is just uh, a collection of different thoughts and ideas so you can create a space so let's say living room let's also create a bedroom there we go and we can start putting ideas into here so for the living room for example we might go in and say well let's look at furniture and let's do a sofa search this brings you to the SCI database there's thousands of products uh, uh, in the database across different product categories 
and uh, we're adding about between five and 10,000 products to this database every month. Let's say, right, we said Dan's house and it's the living room that we're gonna put it in. Let's add it into there. Let's carry on looking. That looks like a nice sofa as well. So let's pop that in there. And that also looks quite nice. That's a good idea. Let's pop that in. And let's keep going. Well, this looks like a nice sofa. I don't think it's um, suitable for Dan's uh, project, but I, I like it. So I'm going to add that in into my library, which is down here. And uh, I've got a, a, a subdirectory in my library called Sofas. I'm going to save that for later uh, for another project. I think I'll be able to use that later on. So I'm just going to save that for, for later on uh, and so on and so forth. So you can go through and select whatever items you want and add them to whichever for, for beds, for example, we might say, let's have a look at beds, see what pops up. Oh, that's a nice bed. Let's add that into Dan's house. We've got bedroom save that that's a nice looking bed and we start building up our project bit by bit we can also if we've got images or we've got ideas from the client we can also use things from our desktop so i can go in here again and add uh and let's say i've got some some images of the products that i've used on a previous project so i'm just going onto my desktop i've grabbed some images from my desktop and i'm just uploading them there so that will come in and then let's say that uh, we've seen something really nice on the internet that we like. So go to a third party website, it can be any website, really like this sofa. So let's grab that there we go. Uh, and just pop that in here. So we just paste and that will come in. There we go. So we can keep adding uh, whatever we want from wherever we want into these different spaces. Say I've got some other beds again from a previous project that are sitting on my desktop that I think will be great for this project so I'm just going to upload image add those in as well if I wanted to just add an ideas space rather than a physical space I can do that so I could call it paint color ideas and into there we might go say to Pinterest for example I need to get some ideas for blues blue paint colors that looks nice i'm going to grab that and stick it in there i also saw another one there that i quite liked that looks good as well grab that uh, stick that in here and and whatever else i want I'm just going to collapse that because it's getting a bit busy We've got some ideas here for sofas now. Let me just bring that down so I can see them a little bit better. The next stage is to try to get some pricing. Now, from a designer's point of view, you can go in and you can you can set up your purchasing from here. So this sofa might be seven thousand pounds, and your your purchase price, for argument's sake, might be. £5,500 or £5,000 your trade price and your agreement with your client might be 10% margin which then calculates your profit here it also shows the saving that your client is making up here uh, and you can save that and then you can see on the grid the profit that you're making for this particular item and for this item you might not have a price yet so you can just click on that pound button and say right 2.5 meters in leather and just request that price uh, you might want to do the same here uh, and say this one as well we like it let's request a price all these pricing requests go through to our database at the moment your requests will be dealt with by one of our um, team who, who understand pricing understand the products and uh, they'll give you a price on, on these items. And once they quote you, your quotes will appear in this, this list here where all your quote requests are sitting and your, your pricing will appear here. In future, this will be done automatically by uh, an AI engine that we're building uh, and it will be instant, almost instantaneous depending on your request. 
So we've got we've got these items now. We want to share this with our clients so we can go in and go into the share functionality and a client. So let's say my client is called Fred and his email address is fred at gmail.com. I can decide what level of access Fred um, should be given. It might be view only if he's just going to go in and have a look and then let me get on with it. It may be um, edit mood board access. So if Fred wants to come in and start adding things and subtracting things to the mood board, then that would give him uh, the access to be able to do that. Or it may be a colleague of mine or a subcontractor that I'm working with or the architect or uh, a builder or anybody else who, who should have full access, uh, including financial uh, access to all the financial side of things. So let's, let's give um, Fred mood board access. He'll get an email inviting him to this particular project and once he he okays the email and signs in then you'll get an email saying that Fred is in and has access and you can add as many members as you like to collaborate on the project so that people can work in their own time you're not having to coordinate every single meeting together and what we've found whilst we've been testing this is lots of people have said it's made you know instead of having 10 meetings and trying to coordinate them uh, at the same time, what happens is the design does a bit of work, the client then when they get home or in the evening or at the weekend can review that and uh, it just makes collaboration a lot easier. Uh, we can go back to our mood board here and after conversation with the client or just after our own research, we can now start narrowing things down and we can say, okay, well, uh, for example, I really like this sofa. I think it's a contender. So let's link it into the main list. So when we link it into the main list, we select which product in the list we want to associate it with. Obviously, this is going to be the living room sofa. So we create the link. Um, same for this one. We like it. It's a contender. Let's link it in. Same for this one. We like it. It's a contender. Let's link it in. And finally, this one. So we've decided that these sofas are contenders. So these orange uh, links link them into the main project. Uh, to the main sofa. Let's look at the bedroom. We love this. Let's let's definitely use it in the master bedroom. So let's let's link that in for the master bed. Um, this is also a possible contender for the master bed. So let's link that in. This is a nice nice bed. It fits. I think it's going to work quite nicely in the second bedroom. So let's put that into bedroom number two. And also this one looks like it could be a good second bedroom option. So let's put that in. Now that we've given our client Fred access, I'm just going to create a new board called Fred's Ideas. And I'm going to email Fred to say any ideas that you want to, to put or suggest, please stick them in there um, so that you don't you don't you don't interfere with my my boards uh, that would be very helpful thank you Fred I'm now going into my item list and I'm seeing these orange boxes and these gray boxes now the orange boxes are where I've done some work so I know that I've done some work for the living room sofa I know that for bedroom one uh, I've done some work for the bed and same for bed two in the second bedroom I haven't done any other work for any of these other areas and there's a lot of work to do so all these gray boxes indicate the work that I've not yet started uh, and I, I really need to kind of get my skates on and, and start working on that stuff my client can come in at any point now that I've given that I've given him access you can also come in and have a look and uh, open that up and see the contenders that we had pulled in from the initial ideation phase uh, if we want to see all the contenders in a, in a list without having to open these up we can go to this button here on the right which will and it will give us all the contenders that we dragged along from the first stage here we can fill in as many of the details as we like so we can put in brand we can adjust the quantity the budget is the original budget we'd agreed so we'll probably keep that as it is we can put all the retail prices once we start getting them so I might get this price from retailer a uh, Harrods or somebody this price might come from somebody else Conran or someone whatever the retail prices are, in they go. Um, then I can say, well, what's my trade price? Once I get my trade prices, I can put them in, whatever they may be. If if you request prices from us, from our AI engine or from, from our team for any of these, then this will automatically get po populated. And then you can decide what margin you want to put on. 
and that will automatically then show you profits as you go along you can then fill this grid up this grid would generally be a private grid this uh, would not be shared with the client uh, it would only be shared with collaborators who have full access you can also then export this into excel to play with it and, and you know format it if you need to for a presentation to the client you can also pdf it um, we are working on new pdfs because we realize that the format of the pdfs is not uh, particularly pretty uh, but we've got pdfs in there and we'd be looking for any feedback that you've got on how we can improve the feed pdf format what other information you'd like to see on the pdf and just generally how we can make it look better i mean this is just a first uh, attempt because we want to get the beta of beta version of the software out we realize that it looks like a bit of a dog's dinner and um, it's definitely going to get improved right going back to the main uh, item list we can go into this item list and, and with the customer with the client we can kind of go right you know of these we really do like this this is the winner everything about it is perfect let's add it to the schedule so we can click on that schedule button and we've now confirmed that this is the one we want to go for and here in the top left the orange button has gone green so green indicates that um, we shouldn't look at this item anymore we've made a decision let's move on and like this it can help us just quickly visualize uh, our workload and kind of go right what do we need to do we can see the categories we've got furniture we've got lighting whatever else we might have in here sanitary wear or accessories or whatever and organize how we interact with the different businesses whether we're doing it online or, or going into shops or calling people we just get a, a snapshot of the type of, of work we need to do uh, and slowly and surely we start making selections start confirming things and adding them to the schedule and um, and complete um, this stage of the project when we add something to the schedule it goes into the schedule here which is essentially our shopping list uh, this shopping list can be you know can be shared with whoever we want we can pdf it we can export it into excel if you want fci to quote for it fci will quote for it but there's no uh there's no get, you know there's no necessity you don't have to get a quote from fci we don't have to supply anything uh, this is just a platform for you to use and hopefully find useful uh, and just help you uh, work through your projects very quickly we just jump back and go into my account where you can see your library uh, you can set up create as many customized libraries as you want and all the things that you you look at on your travel through FCI or elsewhere will be saved here so when you're looking for inspiration for the next project you can flick back and have a look at this and, and decide you know um, if anything there is going to be suitable that's a very quick rapid fire whistle stop kind of tour through the software we would very much welcome your feedback and we hope you enjoy using the software thank you